Hello friends, in this video we will talk about Krebs cycle also called as citric acid cycle or tricarboxylic acid cycle. Actually, this was found and developed by Hans Krebs so called as Krebs cycle. In this video we will see simple trick to remember Krebs cycle and we will see the enzymes, uh, enzymes included in this cycle and some complications related to those enzymes. Let us start. Krebs cycle. Firstly, here is acetyl CoA. And here is oxaloacetate. Acetyl CoA is two carbon compound. And oxaloacetate is 4 carbon compound. And this acetyl CoA combines with oxaloacetate in presence of an enzyme citrate synthase and form citrate, which is 6 carbon compound. Now after this our trick starts. Acetyl-CoA combines with oxaloacetate in presence of an enzyme citrate synthase to form citrate. Now write is Krebs starting Substrate for making oxaloacetate. So, oxaloacetate combines with acetyl CoA in presence of citrate synthase to form citrate is Krebs starting substrate for making oxaloacetate. So this is the simple truth to remember Krebs cycle. Now let us see the enzymes included in this cycle. Let us start. Here citrate gets converted into isocitrate. Iso citrate in presence of an enzyme aconitase. Here is can be related with isocitrate. And isocitrate is also 6 carbon compound. After this isocitrate gets converted into alpha ketoglutarate. In presence of an enzyme isocitrate dehydrogenase and here NAD positive gets converted into NADH and carbon dioxide gets released and when there is release of carbon dioxide this process is called as decarboxylation. So, alpha ketoglutarate is 5 carbon compound. After this, alpha ketoglutarate gets converted into succinyl, succinyl CoA. In presence of an enzyme, alpha ketoglutarate. dehydrogenase and here also NAD positive gets converted into NADH and one carbon dioxide gets released and succinyl CoA is 4 carbon compound After this, succinyl CoA gets converted into succinate. 
Here, Krebs can be related with alpha ketoglutarate and starting can be related with succinyl CoA. Now, succinyl CoA gets converted into succinate. Here, substrate can be related with succinate. In presence of an enzyme, succinyl CoA synthase, synthetase. And here, CoA gets released. And due to release of CoA, little amount of energy gets released. And this little amount of energy is utilized by GDP in getting inorganic phosphate. And this GDP gets converted into GTP. And here ADP comes and takes one phosphate from the GTP and gets converted into ATP. And the GTP gets back converted into GDP. So energy released from the CoA is utilized by the GDP and GDP gets inorganic phosphate and gets converted into GTP and here ADP gets one phosphate from the GTP and gets converted into ATP and here this conversion of ATP, ADP into ATP is called as substrate level of phosphorylation. And in this process, little amount of ATP gets produced. As compared to oxidative phosphorylation. So here, GDP gets inorganic phosphate and converts into GTP. And here, ADP comes and takes phosphate from the GTP and gets converted into ATP and this conversion of here conversion of ADP into ATP is called a substrate level of phosphorylation and during substrate level of phosphorylation little amount of ADP gets produced as compared to the oxidative phosphorylation after this succinate which is four carbon compound gets converted into fumarate in presence of an enzyme succinate dehydrogenase and here FAD gets converted into FADH2 and this succinate dehydrogenase is important enzyme Mutation in this enzyme can lead to pheochromocytoma. Pheochromocytoma. What is this pheochromocytoma? This is tumor. developed in adrenal medulla and by this tumor in adrenal medulla excessive release of epinephrine and non-epinephrine epinephrine causes so mutation in the succinate dehydrogenase lead to the pheochromocytoma and what is this pheochromocytoma? This is tumor developed in the adrenal medulla. And what causes this, uh, what this uh, uh, tumor causes? This causes increase in the release of epinephrine and non-epinephrine. After this, fumarate gets converted into malate. Here, for can be related with 
फ्यूमरेट एंड मेकिंग कैन बी रिलेटेड विद मैलेट फ्यूमेरेट इज ऑल्सो फोर कार्बन कंपाउंड एंड मैलेट इज ऑल्सो फोर कार्बन कंपाउंड एंड फ्यूमेरेट गेट्स कन्वर्टेड इन टू मैलेट इन प्रेजेंस ऑफ एन एनजाइम फ्यूमेरेस एंड दिस एनजाइम इज ऑल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डेफिशियंसी ऑफ दिस एनजाइम कैन लीड टू द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ लियोमा what is this leoma leoma is the tumor in smooth muscles commonly in the muscles of uterine commonly in uterine muscles and even in kidneys so deficiency in fumarase enzyme can lead to the leoma which is tumor in the smooth muscles commonly in uterine muscles and even in kidneys after this malate gets converted into oxaloacetate in presence of an enzyme called as malate dehydrogenase here also nad positive gets converted into nadh so here we have two pyruvates which are formed during the glycolysis so we have two acetyl coa <coughs> and this cycle repeats twice so we have two nadh here here two carbon dioxide will be released here two atp will be produced here 2 coa will be released here 2 fadh2 will be formed here 2 nadh will be formed in total we have four carbon dioxide which will be, which will be released during the krebs cycle 6 nadh will be formed and 2 fadh2 will be formed also 2 atp will be formed so this is the krebs cycle If you have liked this video please like share and subscribe my channel thank you